Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Tuesday evening. Hope, well, hope you're looking after yourself. Um, just a quick one. You can see it in the title of this video that Genoa have set, accepted a bid from Bayern Munich for Radu Dragusin. So we're going to talk about it. Just going to be a quick video. It's not going to be a long one. We're going to talk about it. But I just want to say if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for this journey. And let's let's just read what has been uh, announced just minutes ago. Uh, it came from Bits Romano. It's an exclusive. Radu Dragusin saga has one more twist. Bayern have now sent a formal bid to Genoa to hijack the deal. Proposal slightly higher than the Tottenham one. No players included. Understand Spurs remain confident as previously agreed on personal terms. It's up to Dragusin. Like I said, it only came out literally a few minutes ago uh, from Fritz Romano. And I guess what you could look at this is, is we probably, well, look, negatively, we've shot ourselves in the foot by dragging out every day on this deal to hassle it down, you know, a few million. When Bayern have come in and gone, don't care, here's even more money than you wanted. Shows intent. It shows that, you know, they actually want the player. You know, whereas we, we're trying to fight over a Freddo at the court, at, at, at the uh, post office. It, if, if we don't get him, it, you know, you have to look at the higher ups because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good enough. It wouldn't be good enough. We are what January the 9th. They said the centre half would be here the first week of January, two days into the second week, and potentially might be losing the guy that we've had the bid accepted for. Um, so if that's the case, and they've also said that they didn't go for Tadebo because Nice wanted too much money. Okay, well then Tadebo's gone, Draguzin's gone. And if Draguzin goes to Bayern, we're probably then keeping Dyer. So they better pull some money out of their pockets to start reinvesting quickly because they're going to have a really upset fan base, I can say that. But then in a positive frame of mind... Yeah, if they're confident and, you know, Draguzin obviously is, you know, he's agreed the personal terms. He's, he's said all along that he doesn't want to go to the top teams in the Serie A. He wants Spurs. <clears throat> You've had a deal agreed with Genoa that, you know, does send them Jed Spence. Then, you know, potentially that could be a situation where he might still sp pick Spurs. He might look at it and go, well, if you look at Bayern, they got Kim Min Jae, who was Serie A Defender of the Year last year. They've got Dio Upamecano, who they spent some decent money on as well a few years ago. They've got Matthias De Ligt, who they spent 60, 70 odd million pounds on. They might, he might look at it and go, yeah, not really. When you think of looking at Spurs and you go, well, Romero misses on average, you know, at least a couple of months a season. M Mickey van der Ven's been here for only a few months and already missed two and a bit months of football. I'm going to play a good amount of football, regardless if I'm a starter or not. I think that we've got to we've got to be open to the fact that he isn't coming, but then we also have to be then proactive and say, look, well, okay, he's not coming. We better get a centre half in quickly. Don't leave this now. Another nine, ten days to go. God, I don't, we've got a centre half. Yeah, you've got Man City and Brentford at the end of the month. You need someone in before that. Draguzin would have been grand because he would have had him in. He'd have had maybe some minutes against Man United, but if not, he'd have had two weeks worth of training ahead of games like that. That if we didn't then sorry, if we did then throw him in, he'd have had an opportunity to actually get to grips with the system and get to grips with the players around him and with the style of play that we want to play. But all I'm gonna say is if he doesn't come, I bloody hope Romero does have a miracle recovery like Bentancourt and gets back early to play against City because we're going to need him. As much as we 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 had three all against City the uh, not too long ago, they also missed a lot of chances. They also had Jack Gears through and goal at the end of the game. Kind of need to have ten to half playing that game, and especially Davies is out injured now. It's it's imperative. But yeah, just a really quick one. I didn't want to do a long one because it's just talking about this deal. Look, we, we're still going to have to wait and see what Draguzin makes because it's up to him now. Genoa accepted both bids. Personal terms will be no issues with Bayern. They'll, they'll probably end up paying him more than Spurs would. It'll be down to him if he thinks he can get enough playing time at Bayern as he could over Spurs. We shall see. But anyway, guys, end of the video. Hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comments section below. Your thoughts, feelings about the Bayern situation and the fact they've got a deal agreed. I want to know what you're thinking about it all. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. I'll see you all.
very, very soon. Take care, guys.